What's up, better days? You guys have been asking. So today we're gonna deliver. This is Tim's Four Dam. And I put in underneath the bridge like you're supposed to. But then we're we're walking this up. We're gonna walk this kayak up. Most people don't come up here. We're gonna go up fish this area right below the dam. We should be able to catch not only some trout, but some other different species, maybe even crappie and bass. That'd be pretty sweet. All right. So you've got this pocket right here. And that's a spillway. <clears throat> and it's empty this time of year. Plus we get a lot of rain. They don't run water through there. I wonder if it's deep here. I didn't bring my fish finder. No. I wouldn't think so. Wow. What a neat view of this dam. It's just so much different than pretty much every other dam you see. <laughs> Do you have any depth here? No. It's all very shallow. For your safety, wear approved device when entering this area. No problem. That's all I had to see. I hadn't seen that sign previously, but that sign tells me that it's okay to fish here because there's rules about wearing your device. If it wasn't okay to fish here, they'd say, don't come into this area. But the sign says, wear your approved device in this area, no problem. Got you guys, we got it on. Always follow all the rules you can when it comes to fishing. It could save your life. Look at this though, this is beautiful. Let's see here, here's your tail. I got one of them, whatever it is. What's well, a weird bite? Oh, and it come off. It come off. What's a weird bite? I ain't never felt no bite like that. It's a very consistent bite. It's just, it's not necessarily a difficult bite to get. I just don't recognize it. Now I gotta catch one. Now I'm like obsessed with it. Cause that was a decent fish. There we go. And that's it. That's a good one. Whatever it is, we're gonna find out. That's just a, it's just a rainbow trout. It's just a rainbow trout on a Ned rig. <laughs> that's why I feel so weird. Okay. Catch a lot of rainbow trouts on Ned Reef, but nothing would hit my rooster tail, and then nothing would hit my worm either. So I started throwing a Ned Rig in there, see if I could catch a rough fish, like, I don't know, tough fish, instead of these little delicate trouts. That's a fish. He a bass. It is a bass. Large one. That's what I'd like to catch up here. 
Nice. That's what I'd like to see. Don't get me wrong, this thing full of trout. But like, come up here to the dam, below the dam like this, you want to catch a bunch of different species. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see some fish. That's a good cold water largemouth. Ooh, okay. I see trout hitting on the surface over here. I see a bunch of them hitting. What happened to bring a fly rod? I'm not the best fly fisherman in the world, but you see them taking stuff off the surface like that. Usually you don't have to be very good. Kind of like a right place at the right time kind of thing. I need to. I need to set these rods down. To them, they're slapping the surface right there, right here. There he goes. I got one on the Adams parachute dry fly. What a tough thing to do. These fly fishermen are great, dude. What have we got here? Be a brookie. And it is a brook trout on a Adams parachute dry fly. Now guys, I've had people ask me to take them fly fishing. I'm, I'm still getting good at this. I'm not good at this as you can tell, but I'm getting there. That's a dry fly bite on the Elk River, a brook trout. That's incredible. Little Adam's parachute. All right, okay. Whew. Little trouts are hitting flies. I gotta get one at them. There he goes, he got it. I got him. Very next cast. Good job, Rich. Fly fisherman. Dry flies. That's the hard thing, is getting them on the dry. That's back to backers. That dry fly. And it's a brown. And we got a rainbow, a brook, and a brown now. <laughs> Look at that right there. So pretty. All right, they're taking flies everywhere. I see, everywhere I look, so just gotta get it, get it out there. Might even be able to see that fly sitting on the surface there. Took it down. <laughs> he 
dry fly. Elk River below Tim's Ford Dam. Well, I'm gonna lose this fish because I can't get him in. <laughs> leader's a little too long. If that fly hooks him, a lot of times it's just got him. There he is, and he's got it. He's stuck. Brown trout on the dry fly. If it keeps going like this, I might not include the first two fish where I caught a little <laughs> rainbow on a Ned Rig and a little bass on a Ned Rig, but... dry fly fishing is just such a good bite like if you can get on this bite people know how exciting it is I'd like to get a whole bunch more of these fish you've got the dam right here and i showed you where the water comes out of the dam then right here coming up right under the same bridge is this creek and man i got to admit i knew it was here i didn't know it was this extensive these are some deep waist deep holes here this is a creek that you want to wade. I mean, I'm not sure how far you can go. But it's crystal clear. It's nice and cool. Obviously, it's a natural spring. This, the parking lot's right here. You can just hop down here and sit out here in a chair or just sit here all day and have a little picnic. Man, what a nice spot. What a beautiful spot. Is this a mink river otter? Doesn't look like a beaver. It's little. Well, don't come at us. Don't come at us. It's a beaver. It is a beaver. <laughs> I'll be darned. There we go. Oh, okay. Well, all these fish that are around here, I just threw this trout magnet out and twitched it. All these fish that are around here, they'll eat this trout magnet. I think I can catch a fish right out in front of the boat. Just twitch. 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 Got him. I thought I could. Brooke? Yeah, trophy brook. 10 inch brook trout. Cool, man. So like uh, I was stripping that fly and I noticed a fish come up and smack it. So that's why I changed to this trout magnet because it, you can give it that stripping action. That's what this lure does. And uh, I didn't really want to change flies. If they're not biting what I've got on my fly rod. <laughs> I'll just go to a spinning rod. Give it that twitch. There we go. Yeah. It's over with for these fish. That's a brown. Ow, that's a brown. He stuck me too. But look, they're all going crazy right here. So I'm just going to catch them all just for fun. There's one. <gasps> Wow, that was quick. Another little brookie. I love that they put brook trout in here. That's really cool. There we go. Get out of there. You think he wanted that little goat minnow? <laughs> We're catching them fast now. Trout magnet on a with a goat minnow. My goodness. This one's all ripped up. So much fun, it ought to be illegal. Catching 
brook trout like this. Now that's a trophy, a Tennessee trophy fish. Well, he got that. I changed up to a Berkeley Realistic, a two inch minnow. Cause they were crushing that gulp pretty good. I figured I could get one to <laughs> Lee, could we ever get one? My goodness, that's a pretty fish. Look at this lure. That is a really pretty presentation. That's that Berkeley Realistic 2 inch minnow. And I just love it. I just love it. I work it. I just throw it out there and kind of get the rod tip up and kind of give it a twitch. Slow roll it and give it a twitch. Just like I do that trout magnet, but it's an inch bigger and a lot heavier. I like that Berkeley realistic. You got that? Sweetheart, simmer down. Such an incredibly photogenic fish. It's so pretty. My hand is all slimy. Catch you, buddy. Got him. Ah, oh, man. Trout magnet with a gulp minnow. Berkeley realistic. On an eighth of an ounce jig head. Dry flies. You name it. They're hitting everything out here. few fish and now this thing is torn up just beyond recognition fishing this thing it's a this one is a 64th of an ounce trout magnet so like 1 64th of an ounce teeny teeny tiny so you throw it out there you don't go very far you reel it at the surface so you can see it and then you give it a little twitch and you don't reel it fast most of the time earlier I was for fun but you just since that's as far as you can cast it you just kind of get your rod tip up and watch it I see it I'll give it a twitch I see it, I'm reeling it slow. See real slow. I'll give it a twitch. And sometimes I'm not reeling it at all. But like, you do need it to be straight. So, you gotta reset that thing. Ooh. Oh gosh, it's a violent bite right now. We're about to get out of here. Call it a day. We slayed them. I didn't get up here till like 3.30. I only fished a short while. And we got on so many different kinds of bites. We got a little trout on a neg rig to get stuff started. That's ruined. 
Then we took that Ned rig around the corner. Caught a nice little bass. I, I'm sure there's a lot of bass up here. There just has to be. That's what they do this time of year. They come up this cold water and hang out. A lot of largemouth do. And then after that, I was just immediately on that dry fly bite. Boy, that's one of them things I'll remember for a long time. I've just started fishing fly rod and really enjoy it i'm just not very good at it but getting them to eat a dry fly to come up to the surface like that and eat a dry fly that's pretty special it's a special place it's the elk river at tim's ford dam i tell people where to go fishing if you like that kind of thing consider subscribing Oh, it's a big old trophy brookie. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, Simba. Nice. Big trophy brook trout. Almost 11, 10 inches is a trophy. What a beautiful fish. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a better day.